Speaking of No Human is Limited, this mm. great feature coming up next. Take a listen. They are battled, hardened soldiers. Kenya's first line of defense who watch over the Indian Ocean waters to keep foreign ag aggressors at bay. But joining the elite Navy squad is no walk in the park. Our crime editor, Kimeli Arab Kimei, obtained exclusive access to the Kenya Navy clearance divers training mm. areas in Mtongwe Kwale County and has the story. Mm. Many are called, so the adage goes, but few are chosen. Only the toughest and the very best make it to the Kenya Navy's clearance diving unit, a special unit of combat divers charged with protecting Kenya's territorial waters. This group of men spend most of their lives in the ocean. Their brief, to keep the enemy at bay. Selected candidates begin their three-month rigorous training at this swimming pool at the Kenya Naval Training School in Mtongwe, Mombasa County. Here, their metal is put to test with such tasks as carrying oxygen cylinders weighing between 20 to 40 kilograms underwater. So intense is the training that only those with courage and determination can withstand it. We have different kind of situations that we meet underwater that causes such training to be done. Poor visibility, heavy waves, sunken debris, unnavigated waters that you, it is very hard to know the situation. So if uh, the, any eventuality happens during the dive, then the student is taught on how to solve a problem. To join the clearance diving unit, CDU, volunteers from Kenya Navy go through endurance tests to ensure they are fit for the job. First of all, you volunteer uh, to, be, to be part of a diving unit. Uh, one must undergo a physical screening test uh, involving a 500 meter swim, uh, 58 uh, push up within uh, two minutes, 58 sit ups within two minutes, and heave up six heave ups within a, a stipulated time, and also a 3.2 mile run within a, with a minimum of uh, 23 minutes. Some of the specialist training they undergo include the Airborne, becoming a parachute ju uh, jumper. Also, we have the Ranger Strike Force, being part of the Ranger Strike Force unit, and also being part of the Special Forces uh, of the KDF. Kenya diver students are given opportunity to train in India for a period of six months, uh, in the US for a period of eight months, uh, in Egypt for a period of uh, four months. Due to the intensity of the training, only two female soldiers have managed to complete the course, joining their male colleagues in the clearance diving unit. diving Kenya Navy is responsible for beach patrols, conducting parachute drops on ships saved by pirates in high seas, preventing terrorists from accessing Kenya, and combating drug traffickers. The combat divers are also tasked with scouring the ocean for underwater landmines. The roles of the Kenyan Diving Unit include and not limited to uh, underwater inspections, hull inspections, that's where we do inspections uh, on, on both the ships or in, in, in water. Uh, we also do beach reconnaissance, 
We also do hydrographic uh, surveys, mine clearance, combat diving, underwater operations, that is uh, underwater cutting, underwater welding, and various other operations. Theirs is a job fraught with many challenges and risks. In an area where, where the enemy might have uh, planted mines, you find that if you are a diver and the visibility is poor and you have not seen it, it's easy for you to, to, to detonate the mine and, and, and you will die. It's just another day in the office for the special unit stationed in Msambweni, Kwale County. A fisherman identified as Makame Hamadi has just been brought in unconscious. Hamadi was put in this recompression chamber and spent close to two hours inside. He had developed decompression sickness and arterial gas embolism while laying fish nets in the Indian Ocean. It can also be used uh, to treat other medical related uh, diseases like gas gangrene, smoke inhalation, and uh, carbon monoxide poisoning. We are lucky to have this facility here in the, the Kenya Navy since it's the only one in East and Central Africa. And uh, most of the time, we use it to for civil aid of the civilian divers who come here for, to seek for treatment. Hamadi was later transferred to the Kenya Navy Health Facility where we found him recuperating. We go to meet Yanyavo. What happens is that when a person goes too deep into the water, they have to resurface in, a, in stages so that they don't get the decompression sickness. What happens is if you resurface too quickly, depending on the depth you've gone into the water, you, there's a bubbles that form. They go and get trapped into several organs including the brain, the heart, the joints, but we, there's a, what we fear most is a, when it goes to the brain or other vital organs. Kenya Navy came into the limelight in September 2012 when they helped KDF ground troops to capture Somali's port of Kismayu from Al-Shabaab. Several Kenya Navy combat divers delivered decisive assault from the ocean and paved the way for special forces to access Kismayu port city and wrestled her from the terrorist group. The Kenya Navy uh, divers, uh, together with the Kenya Navy special boat uh, operators, we were able to insert the special forces and the rangers into the enemy into the enemy territory, and they were able to and they were able to capture uh, Kismayu. I am under no medication. I feel fine and ready to make this life. The Navy men continue to train at the Kenya Naval Training School, ready to be called to action to protect their motherland.